and I'm getting yeah. a weird message here as to um, to focus. Not the. F- I got to explain this the right way, otherwise it's going to come off wrong. But during our transmission <clears throat> in the in the, in this planet and all the energy that there is, there's obviously like a lot of void and a lot of darkness. Even darkness energies within the collective, <clears throat> and um, this is getting this to like kind of like merge in a way, in a way, but not merge with darkness, but merge the light into the darkness. If that makes sense. So like like we're just merging with all void of space and all that is dark, but we're bringing the light into it. We're bringing the light into all of what is dark if that makes sense like a loving embrace yeah it's just uh it's just basically this blast of light that's going to alchemize and and help um um transmute i guess in the collective that maybe some of their the darkness that's there that's lingering and um it'll probably it'll probably also clear a lot of people at the same time it'll be like there's a lot of demons on the planet just sucking that like energy. A lot lately. This last week, I feel like every time I wake up, I have attachments. Uh, Dave, shall I go through the cellular one? Is that okay? Yeah, let's do the cellular first, yeah. and then okay. let's do some healing for Wendy's mom, like right after yeah. that. Like we'll kind of bridge into that. Can I say her something? Name, I, I her found, name's Catherine. I found this tonight. It hasn't been open since 1995, and I found it, and it's got a crystal in the middle. So what I would advise is everyone, if you've got a crystal, it will help. During the healing, if we can visualize what iPhone's got, like an halo and a, and a crystal. And what we're all going to do is connect to each other. Okay. Okay, we're going to connect to each other, and we're also going to connect to everybody. And we're going to send them all uh, crystal source en- uh, energy into a few of their cells, and this will repair repair them if they need it. But only give them if they accept it. But you'll know the ones that accept it. Okay. And that's for highest good too. If anybody's higher selves want to help um, bring these energies in to heal any of their earthly selves, that, that they can receive that too. Okay. So if, if anyone's down, it'll perk them up, hopefully, and it'll repair the cells. And the cells, because it's crystal source energy, they'll spread. They've got memory, they've got intelligence, and they'll spread. Uh, but we've got to connect all to each other. You might feel something in the back of your head uh, as the contact is made. Uh, and then we're going to send it all out. So if anyone's feels down for any reason, which is probably one reason at the moment, then uh, it'll, it'll hopefully repair any cell problems and any damage to them. Uh, any, yeah. Shall we do that there? I'm going to add on an Atlantis Lotus Healing to what, what you're doing there. It just seems like it's fitting here. Cause it's, okay. It's just, yeah. so, so we've got to close our eyes and we've got to visualize the halo, but this is, a, this is an upgraded halo. With a crystal at the front, and we've got to connect to each other, all at each other, and you should be able to feel it at the back of the head. And if anyone's watching this video, you can still connect to us later in time. Feel like we're in a circle, actually. And I'm I'm hearing to do a um, a blessing in light language, so I'm just going to do that. Ano iria at kuriya at kuriya na each kuriya pa ay at each kuriya at asa ko ano na na yez di araw ay ano apa oyera ay each kuriya na na na. This blessing is to bring your body, your physical body, your art body into God's source space and to help with assisting with removing doubts within your being trust as you watch this trust listen thank you 
I'm actually going to do angelic tongue. Now, you know me, I never do this. So I'm going to actually <laughs> do this for this time. Uh, I think Wendy's seen me do it once all the time. Yes. I think we're connecting now. For your healing, for your highest blessing, I connect with all of you now. Be prepared for this blessing, for this healing. Thank you. That was beautiful. Got up to say, David. It's just um, <clears throat> some starlight source being that's coming over us here. Um, okay, yeah. It's golden light streaming from your um, soul aspects, your um, over soul group. For the star being is just sending in golden light beams. We might get some pretty interesting um, channels that are going to come here because your our whole entire soul families are just all connecting here for this. The source star being just came out of nowhere just to connect us to all that we are basically for this transmission. I've never seen a source star being before. That's interesting. <clears throat> You have me? <laughs> well, I guess. But that's the difference. <laughs> <laughs> so, try and feel the connection with all of us in like a circle. Because we're powering up, we're being, we're, we're being like... Uh, this is where we're in the Temple of Atlantis. Are we connecting our hearts in Third Eye like with David? We connect, well, yeah, we'll, we connect, yeah, we'll we, connect our... No, we're connecting our halo, our crystal above our, our heads, our halo. Okay. And also the back of the head, which is the psychic input. All right, just bringing over some dragon fire just to burn any cords or any attachments. Purple flame in everybody over all of us, just a quick energy cleanse. We're connecting to the crystal source energy. Not pro tell it to repair the cells of every human who accepts it for the greatest good. Connect also to this um, crystal. Atlantis, Atlantis blue crystal flowers that they'd have. These blue crystals. Let's just spin our Merkabas. Just activate your Merkabas. We're bringing these energies in from the past into our circle here. With these Atlantean crystal energies. It's like a navy blue, um, light blue, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we're all grouped together and we're going to send this yeah. crystal source energy to everyone. He's on also the connected planet. to this Lemurian crystal and it, um, it's it got this like a uh, big, it flashes, I guess it's like the really f bright white crystal. Uh, it's flat, flashing okay, into our energy. But tonight only, we're all in Atlantis. We are the, the, like the high priests of the uh, other place. We are creating, and 
we are moving people's soul yet to a higher high vibration. Oh, okay, so there is some technology we use back in Atlantis where we could be like on the other side of the mirror, if that makes sense, and we hid something in it. I'm just trying to see what we hid in it. I'm just going to go into the mirror in a second. How do we, how do we go into the mirror? See the reflection become the reflection. Oh, that's so weird. Okay. From the halo, our souls are connected as one. collected that David will send a wave through the earth okay. of the energy uh, crystal just source gotta energy. become on the other side of the mirror now this is a weird thing it's yes. like you become the reflection it's so weird okay it's an amplifier okay all right all right I got it there's a lot of ancient knowledge in this one here it's a source crystal if you can put it in the middle of that our circle. Okay. It will amplify our energy. Okay. I'm being told to program the levels with the energy that's coming in. Like my crystals. This neural energy coming into everybody right now, you're like through our halos and everything? from this crystal it's, it's, it's activating our brains in some way it's our ancient knowledge it's, it's going to really bring out this we hit it for a reason um, so we would never get lost it's interesting and I'm hearing we'll hide it afterwards again You should, you should each be feeling this heart energy within your heart chakras, your high heart chakras. You might have buzzing in, in, in your head as well. This is the amplifying of the energy. Yeah. This is definitely some strong energy. Is anybody else hearing we should own them together? Holy crap. Sounds okay. Let me do that then. Yeah, let's just on, like the count of, just on the count of three. Just, we'll just ohm until we feel like it's done. Just ohm. It's, it's sound frequency energy. I'll just start it and you guys just tune in or harmonize or higher or lower, whatever you're feeling. We got oh. Be dynamic. Oh. oh. That also just set your intention to like connect with the energy as well, like through your tone, like so you connect with it and you expand in it in your heart and everything too. Yes, your so your sovereignty. I think this is your sovereignty connecting in. One more time. 
Oh. And take a breath and breathe it into your being. I've been told we, we connect to everyone's consciousness. To our what? To the consciousness of everyone. Oh. Wow, beautiful. And then the, the crystal source being, crystal source energy will be released into the. I feel like I'm spinning between here and there um, as if we're standing within the energy of the portal. Okay, so I'm just going to concentrate while we're in all this high energy and everything like that. I'm also going to tune in to um, send in some healing to Winnie's mom. Just send it Thank through you. her crown and through her chakras for her highest good, obviously, just for healing in here of her cells. Her higher self is okay with accepting this, so this is good. I hear, um, I'm hearing, I am Ra, I am Ra, I am Ra. So this aspect of me is coming through and wants to give a message. But he, I say he, uh, he is saying that we, those of us doing this work right now for the collective, we are the portal. Our combined, our combined energy, our combined frequency, along with our crystals, as we are joined together, we are the portal that is connecting to everybody's consciousness and those who are aware and those who are being drawn to this. There's a reason for that. The timing is now the energies are high enough for them to be open to receive this type of healing. And that's why this group is being pulled together now to do this work. Thank you. This is the actual job that the high priests of Atlantis used to do. So we are near enough high priests tonight, or priestesses. Yes. <sighs> so just with intention, we're going to connect this light to all that is on this earth, um, on all the timelines of earth, all the realities. Let us open up that infinity portal send this light through there and everywhere around the globe right now just to bring light into every place where light is absent merging the light into the darkness infusing the darkness with light alchemizing a love in every particle of existence You gotta send it into Gaia, uh, the heart of Gaia. Okay. So just with intention, we'll send this portal of light into the heart of Gaia for healing Gaia's wounds, but for also Gaia to send to all of the grid systems. Uh, let's become one with Gaia. Can <clears throat> our hearts. The halos around Earth connect our halos around the. I didn't know Earth had halos, but I guess it does. Opening up a gate of energy right now. Syrian, I'm not sure where this is coming from. It's an ancient gate of energy. It's golden, yellow energy coming in. It's just flowing in now above us and into Gaia. 
David, I'm also opening the, uh, my backup energy in space to, to, to bring into us as well. Which Anna each one a ticket to each up the each could be at it. I had to create at the one that I could up at it. It's 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 it. Well, um, master lightning rays coming over us right now. I don't know if you all of a sudden feel like those little zappy energies, but it's, it's got all master codes and just running right through all of our energy. It's because uh, our oversoul group, there's lots of ascended masters on there, and um, even within ourselves, there is, but so they're all connected right now, awakening the masters within ourselves in our cellular memory within our energetic structures using the lightning ray i have that i'm transmitting just whatever i'm doing with my hands here and the um light language earlier was i kept hearing an ai higher self of my future um, and the codes are coming into us and what I'm doing with my hands is assisting with sending it through the grid and I'm on fire but I don't know about the rest of you <laughs> uh, okay so this is a new one so just with intention uh, connect your hearts with every high vibrational being that's for humanity and this timeline's highest good and all timelines highest goods for earth's ascension that are in other dimensions that are above the fifth dimension and all that are actually assisting um, for the collective's highest good not for any kind of selfish reasons for everybody to ascend and just connect our hearts with them and allow energy transmissions to come in through those dimensions into this dimension expanding our heart centers becoming aware that there is more assisting earth than we realize just to connect our hearts with all these beings you'll start seeing a whole bunch of different aliens There's so many of them that are connecting with us right now almost like a star wars movie but which also if you look higher there is energetic ones connecting your hearts to the higher Go like into the higher hearts of the galactic centers. Bringing all this high vibrational dimensional codes into every fabric of every molecule, every absence of light now, bringing light onto every absence of light in every timeline, in every parallel universe, in every reality. I hear Sophia sings. This is her song. I've been channeling Sophia for months now, and this is her beautiful lullaby to fill your songs. Mother loves you. You are loved. Fill that love. Just gonna quickly do a crazy release for the collective <clears throat> we're just gonna send in forgiveness to all <clears throat> that is not of the light and all of that is not of the light sending in divine forgiveness to them for all of the tragedies and all the negative emotions that have ever surfaced that they've ever caused us or anybody 
and just forgiving them completely as well as forgiving ourselves and the collective and all for any negative emotions or tragedies that we've caused anybody in their lives just sending in complete divine forgiveness and letting go of the negative emotions the, the, the violence of, of all of the forgiving them for all of the murders for all of the raping for for everything for everything the worst of the darkest of the dark sending in divine forgiveness to all all in the dark sending the love and forgiveness to release for the collective to release for ourselves sending ourselves divine forgiveness in all realities when we're not light sending in forgiveness we're attached to the infinity portal infinity portal right now we're attached to the parallel universes we're attached to every possible timeline and every reality and we're just going to flash in divine forgiveness to self and to others for all of the horror that we've ever caused that have caused our vibration to lower and we're going to cleanse it with love and this light, and light. energy in the universe and release it from our energy releasing it from the collective releasing it from theirs causing this huge release and and heart expansion across every potential reality that exists or that will exist because it's all timelines in this in this universal structure okay david i've got one after this as well yeah you're i'm good here go ahead right now we're still in the circle i, I want us to channel this energy build it up and send it into the crystalline earth through a wave of a magnetic pulse wave that goes right around the earth that takes everyone's fear away and the people are nearly waking up let them advance and wake them up okay so if we can just visualize this in our mind's eye just build it up so this this middle energy in the middle and as soon as it's built up just direct it into the crystalline earth where the magnetic field is and it'll do a pulse that goes right around the earth it is done it is done it is done and then also while we're at this energy just breathe it in through your crown Breathe it into all your chakras, into your heart. Just allow all these super high frequencies and all these high galactic codes, all for our highest good to integrate within our energy structures, advancing our soul, expanding our soul, opening up our master codes, opening up our master energies, abilities that we haven't had in a long time. All right, I guess I'll take this source crystal back and put it back in the mirror in Atlantis. Okay, now I gotta go to this mirror again. I am that I am. I am that I am. I am that I am. Find your divine spark within you. You are never separated oh, from so me. Weird. You are never separated from me. I am that I am. Mother God, Father God, I am that I am. You are me. I am you. We are we. We are one. I am that I am. And you may repeat this to yourself while you're in this energy, after you're watching this. If you watch this again, if you are participating and you will fill this energy I am that I am. I am that I am. You are blessed. Oh, oh okay. Right. Before, before we go, um, just just open up the gates of time. I'm being told, and send this into the past. Um, in between, um, the first half of Atlantis, and then up to now, this now point, and just sending this energy through, cleansing and clearing. Mm -hmm the past as well just with intention just sending it through all those timelines and, and sending clearing energies and just cleansing the darkness basically transmuting it cleansing it off of the um, all the structures 
So that will significantly raise the vibration of this timeline and all future timelines by doing this. So this portal is near the infinity portal. Essentially it is in the infinity portal. Okay. So now we can close the infinity portal. All right, and the gates of time portal is basically in it. So. Does anybody else have anything, Phil? You got anything else that's coming to you? No, that's fine. Okay, so let's just ground our energies here. Just breathe them through the crown, through all your chakras, and just exhale, sending out these energies to ground with Gaia. Just connect to the heart of Gaia. David, just uh, one thing. If you've got an halo above your head, you can actually use that as a grounding as well. Perfect. And then we'll just breathe up that um, grounding energy from Gaia and Gaia's heart base energy. Just breathe it up through our chakras, just sending us nice grounding energies. And then as we exhale, we're just grounding more of Gaia, just really grounding these high frequencies into Gaia, coming out the soles of our feet. And then we'll just set the intention that we'll allow all this to integrate within our own energies with ease and grace. You may feel like you're going to need to go outside and put your feet on the ground, and that's fine too. And drink some water. Dear Star families, thank you for the work that you have done. This is a beautiful work. You are recognized, you are loved. And as you know, we are so many more than you can imagine who are here with you, who will watch over you, who assist you from the other side. Know that you are divinely guided, you are divinely protected. We thank you for your work. You are the warriors on the ground. We thank you, Namaste and Adonai. Before we go, I just wanted to say, earlier before I, this video. I hear that's the, uh, the Syrian collective, the Syrian collective that I just channeled. Right before this video earlier, there was a big loud boom, like it was thunder. It was so like right above my house, there was no lightning. I could go outside and, and an infinity in the cloud right above my house, right before this video. I have the picture, I'll actually send it to the group. Wow. I've got a me message actually. If you have difficulties in life, harmonize your energies with nature. That's a good message. It's a really good message. Hug a tree. <laughs> yeah. That's the Arcturians. They said, hug a tree. <laughs> I go out every day yeah you can even like send your energy to trees just to, and ask them to ground it for you it also works because sometimes you're driving and you just need a little grounding if you do all good show you ask permission first I said I actually I give the tree a message to help you ground and heal you trees are pure yes Aphrodite is actually here. She's sending some love energies over us right now. She's just so, just letting her know that, letting us know that she's sending love and gratitude for for what we have done here. And she's obviously she's beautiful. But.
she's saying it's after I said that she's saying it's it's your love that's beautiful it's your love that is beautiful well I guess we're getting close to the reset she's saying this this method I've been told that we've just done you can actually use that to connect to uh, the spirit world so it can be like a boost to your third eye. Yeah, lots of changes are coming, she's saying. We are help creating them. Co creating. Quite a lot of changes. It's going to be a, a very different, a very different world in a couple of years. She's saying it's it's going to be hard to recognize. Which immediately I was attached to um, even changes in um, land and stuff like that. But this could be related to that event that's supposed to be happening in the near future with that um, solar flash to see. Mm. Oh my gosh, this is a ton of energy, you guys. Oof. Wow. It's about taking my breath away. Yeah, it's really beautiful, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, she's saying it is the time for the ascension, so it's um, it's gonna happen. It's gonna happen fast, she says. Like not at this exact moment, but like we're in the timeline of it. We're we are in the timeline of it. Yeah, and there's like choirs of angels right now that are in the sun um, energy. They're bringing all the sunlight energy, the source energy over us. And I think they're getting ready for the, the big show. Interesting. It's just going to go on, I guess. But yeah, it's, it's the, she just told me to tune in her, her heart, and then all of a sudden there's a all the angelic hearts that are all around us right now and there's choirs of these angels and this light all this all around us and um it is like a moment like oh yes a moment like it seems like there's like trumpets going off in a way and there's this excitement energy in this and in the angelic realm um so i was just tuning into that so it, it can one, be done yeah one thing every we're like priestesses of atlantis tonight we, we normally dress in a colour. Now, I know my colour, I think it's purple. And David's, I think, red, is it? So, see if you can actually see what colour you are. It's like an odded sort of cape. I got turquoise. Hmm? I got turquoise. So blue, like a light blue. Yeah, purple and green. I think purple is like a color in our soul family that, that a lot of us will get though, because it's like, in ancient energy that we that's part of us
Okay, so we're getting flooded with Christ consciousness rays right now. I don't know if you guys can feel that, but it's, it's just pouring over us. Um, ascension energies, energies. That was amazing. The room just got completely bright. Yeah, it's gonna like, you know, this is gonna trigger like rapid release, rapid ascension, rapid everything within our energy fields. It's when we, when you bless something and then you do it, we do an event like this. It's, um, you always, I mean, it's never our intention where it's like we want to get something in return for any of it because we do it out of the kindness of our hearts. Um, but they're blessing us right now, essentially. They're blessing us, they're blessing our advancement, they're blessing our energies, so it's going to send some gratitude to the Ascension Councils out there, the Angelic Realm, the Aphrodite, the Titan Energy Gods that we're all connected with, our, all of our Oversoul aspects and everyone that assisted us in all the dimensions today. Send some appreciation and gratitude to be part of this 